We're taking a big giant trip up the Rogue River with Mr. Jim Coffey, Michael Flanagan, Elizabeth Flanagan, and myself. And I'm thrilled. Jim's going to be our leader, right, Jim? Yep. We run 12 miles. Might rain on us, might snow, but it's probably going to be just perfect. We're going to have a good day. Beautiful. Hiking is fun. River's right over here. We've just come down our last little piece of civilized road for the next 11 miles or so. Uh, we're going to dive up onto the official Rogue River Trail right here, which used to be, by the way, the old highway. This trail was used as the major artery into this part of the world for centuries. So here we go. We're just taking a break here. There's beautiful red madrone, you can see it right over here, laying up against the black oak. We can see ferns actually coming out of this moss, so these trees are not only lushly covered with moss, but have lots of ferns. You can see the Rogue River flowing by. We've got a beautiful day, by the way, it's overcast. Sprinkled a tiny bit on the cars this morning, but right now it's just beautiful. I think we'll see some sun. The trail to paradise follows the Rogue River past cascading waterfalls. Oh, look, look, look at this, look at this. Now see what happens when you're walking along out here at this time of year? I would know these as black trumpets. These are one of the ones that I would know it's okay to pick. And in fact, we're picking mushrooms today. If we don't um, take these, they'll just return to Mother Nature and we may, may as well just enjoy them. Sauteed tonight, tomorrow. So uh, this is a great time of year, great time of year. Look at that. Beautiful, nice and fresh. After 12 miles, we arrived at Paradise Lodge. The deer were happy to see us. We got a good night's rest and awoke to a sunrise in paradise. take our mushrooms, our huge bag of mushrooms we picked, and give them to the chef so he can put it in our um, meal this morning. And so what's going to happen this morning, we're going to clean these, and I think we might even clean them on film, I'm not sure. Yep. And then we're going to eat them. The chef's going to saute them and drop them into scrambled eggs for us this morning. Yes. So good, Tony, clean them up. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I've taken two mushroom classes and I'm out and about a lot. And of all the mushrooms I see, there's very few that I feel comfortable picking because there's so many that can hurt you. So you do have to know what you're doing. Tony? Yes. Can you go faster? No. Up next, we'll have our mushrooms and eggs. And you never know who you'll run into in a wilderness lodge. We'll talk to poet, logger, and author Michael J. Barker all about his books and life in a logging camp right here on Oregon Lifestyles.